Hey there, today we're going to be checking out one of my recently completed builds. This is my Powerdyne base model. Uh, so it's essentially a P-base, it's set with a medium scale length, and the body has been struck shrunk down along with the scale length. Uh, so it, it makes for a really nice balancing base, and it's a quite lightweight too. This one only weighs about 7.5 pounds. So let's check it out now. So I'm just going to talk through some of the woods and features on this base, and then at the end I'm going to play a track on it so you get to hear what it sounds like. So the top on this base is Flame Dash. Uh, it's quite unusual to have a figure this strong in ash. Uh, normally it's maple when you see this type of crazy figure. Uh, but this piece was grown right over here in the UK. And fortunately I bought a good stock of it at the time, so I've got plenty more. Uh, so this is a Delano PC4 pickup. I really like these. They've got like a modern sound, almost almost active. Very hi-fi sound, but then when you roll the tone back, you get more of a traditional p burst sound. And go to hardware. And these are CTS pots. Just volume and tone. And up here we've got a Wingate fretboard. Uh, so we can see this has got a flamey type figure going through it also. So that's why we picked that. Flats on Wingate that is. And a bone nut at the headstock. And again, go to hardware. Uh, so you can see this body shape is very like a P-Base, except it's been shrunk down by about 5%. Uh, but we've kept the length of the top horn of a traditional P-Base, so this still reaches actually beyond the 12 foot, which means it balances excellently. You can make these super light and you don't have to worry about balance at all. So, the side here, you can see some nice figure running through that as well. And then you can see the calves as well there. So this is quite a thick flame dash top. I wanted to do that to save exposing the body once viewed from the front. And I'll show you the back now. So this is unjoined mahogany for the back. You can see it's got a lovely, rich colour to it. I've got, again, got a good stock of that as well. It's one of my favourite woods to work with. I'm doing mahogany. And you can see for the neck, we actually have a really unusual wood. Uh, this is Cuban mahogany. So you can't really get Cuban mahogany these days. Uh, it's been over-harvested a long time ago uh, because it was so popular back in the Victorian and before times uh, because it was so stable and strong uh, that Everyone just harvested it and now there's very little left, so they don't harvest it anymore and you can't get hold of it. But this piece is actually well over 100 years old and it was uh, from recycled furniture. So the furniture was no longer fit for purpose, it was very damaged. So this was a great way of reusing that wood and giving it a new life as a base neck. And it makes such a nice neck, it's just really stable and strong. My favourite neck wood, and you might have seen, I've used it quite a few times now, if you've seen my other vid videos or look to my website. So let's hear what it sounds like now. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about my guitars or basses, please leave a comment and I'll get right back to you. Thanks again.